Hello, this is George Senda, the one, the only, the real, the authentic, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh. And it has been really, really cold in here. Last night was 38, maybe even lower. I tried to go to sleep from 11 o'clock till 4. Even with the two heaters on, I could not sleep. I finally got to sleep this morning about 9 a.m. by having the heater next to my face. My electric bill is going to go through the roof. It's 65 in here right now, but it feels like it's 30. Um, so I decided to, since I couldn't sleep, I watched Mike Hammer on Amazon Prime, and I went through this box and another box that's over there. There are a small stack of books and catalogs here. Over to the right of me are a bunch of papers got to keep. I don't even know where the Vivitar camera is. I think it's buried under the papers. And all of this is what came out of the boxes. It's all going to go into recycling. So that's what I did in the middle of the night. And I will, now I can, there are three bins down there, two that hold food, one that holds, uh, I think a fan, except the fan died. And I can now go past the Mac table without knocking the boxes down. So I made progress in here. Still haven't put away the one bin of laundry. And I'll be glad when I can, uh, uh, finish that and get the rest of this laundry that needs to be put away done and the, the one big red electric blanket needs to be washed but I want this thing to be washed too and my sweats but I'm getting there so let mop the kitchen room kitchen floor kitchen room kitchen floor what is a room I guess but because they don't have a mop and Kathy finally uh got a hold of me after three or four days because this stupid crappy phone uh, was out of power and then I'm really mad at Amazon because on the second of the month the driver came by and he dive bombed ugh, this bag of cat food which is 16 pounds and the 40 pound bag of cat litter on my white table, my round white table, it normally held my former flower pot. And I, the flower pot's still sitting there. But this is what he did to my flower pot. When he threw 56 pounds of stuff down, he broke my flower pot. And I called Amazon and said, hey, I'm really mad about this. The whole building shook. The whole wall shook. The whole balcony shook. He must have dropped it from way up. The miracle didn't break the white table. But this guy broke my flower pot. And I tried to grow cherry tomatoes in there and uh, uh, herbs in the spring. And, and uh, he broke the whole side of it. Because when he slammed it on the table, the table pressed in the flower pot and broke it. I said, I'm out somewhere between 30 to $60 to replace this flower pot. I've had it for a long time, but that's not the point. Well, the guy, I, I've made three calls now to Amazon. And I'm still not anywhere than I was a week ago. The guy who took the claim never filed the claim. He refunded me supposedly $15.62, which now is into its seventh day, and I still haven't gotten any money put in my account. I need the money. And I called again, got four different people. Amazon is so screwed up, they keep transferring you to people. And she finally filed the claim, and then this morning I had to do not only the written claim, I had to sign my name, I had to do a video with audio to them. I had to show pictures of the broken flower pot. And then they'll say, we had to review your claim. It will be five more days before you get your money. 
So, and I had to leave instructions for Amazon, do not put anything heavy on the white table outside my door. I mean, I'm sitting here on the second of the month, and I hear this boom, and I go, what the bleep is that? I go out, the driver's gone, the two boxes are on top of the white table, I drag them in here, and because the flower pot was under the table, I didn't see the damage for days. I'm really mad about it. As for Trump and his Social Security policies, what you need to do is tell your congressman, your senator, that th this is a terrible thing to do to people who are disabled. I'm not just talking about me. Uh, Kathy's disabled. Patty's disabled. But there's 10 million people on this. And to change the rules like this and in an effort to save money on Social Security is is so onerous, so despicable. And Trump, I saw the pronouncements. He uh, said that he would not cut Social Security, he's not cut Medicare. He has cuts. He wants to make these cuts in payments because they'll save money in paying out benefits. And it will cost them more administratively, but for every dollar they cut, they save money. So he's saving money on the backs of the poor. Uh, he's cut the food stamp amounts. He's cut Section 8. And I'm going like, why don't you cut federal spending? Why don't you cut foreign aid if you want to save money? Quit giving money to countries that hate us. Um, quit giving money to communist regimes like China, Vietnam, and Cuba. Quit spending money on uh, wasted projects. They spent millions of dollars in Afghanistan on some project. And they funded the money. They never finished the project. You know, you know we have... We have a solar branch of the U.S. Marines. All they do is put in solar facilities. And at a cost of millions, they went and gave the Afghanis refrigerated farmers markets for indoors with conveyor belts, washing stations, air conditioning. We've got to get to 104 degrees up there so they can sell produce. And yet, we have our infrastructure needs here in this country. And other than maybe highways, I don't see a lot of infrastructure being repaired. And I sure as hell don't see a lot of air conditioning in the Southwest for farmers markets or roadside markets for people so they can sell their fruits and vegetables to Americans. And I, I couldn't believe the Marines <laughs> have solar engineers. When I read that in Leatherneck a couple years ago, I even show, I have a copy of the Leatherneck issue about here somewhere. But this is how we've spent money overseas and ignore the needs of the American people um, and waste money over in Afghanistan. We've wasted billions, if not trillions, over there. For what? Uh, over 16 side, the Taliban's going to come back into power. The whole reason to go there in the first place was to destroy the Taliban. That didn't work out. And then Trump's current Social, Social Security Commissioner uh, wants to privatize Social Security. Gee, that didn't work out for George W. Bush in 2005, did it? He didn't get anywhere with that. So this thing comes back like Dracula every 25 years. They make the proposal, and then it gets shot down because the people say, no, we don't want to privatize Social Security. Although I think what they should do is allow you to take your benefits, some of them, and put them into a private account and make it tax-free. Tax-free while federal and state taxes. Uh, because you're already taxed when you earn the money. So that when you retire, you have a tax-free income. That's what I would do if I were the federal government. But that would make too much sense. 
you'd, you'd get doubly taxed. If you invest it, you get taxed in the investments. You get taxed when you earn it. That's wrong. All right. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great afternoon. Have a great evening. I will continue to clean air because it's too damn cold to sleep. I wish I were a cat. Uh, Fuzzy's lying on the bed pillow. And uh, little Fuzzy and Fluffy are now switching cat beds in the hallway. <laughs> After my take, now there's times Fluffy wants to sleep in his cat bed and Fuzzy's in his cat bed and I have to pick her up and put her in her cat bed. But right now Fluffy's sleeping in her cat bed. So they're switching off. <laughs> it's very funny. It's very cute, but it's silly cats. Oh, I don't know if I ever showed you this or not. Let me see if I can do this without. Uh, this is my Chessie watch. This is in the, one of the watches that I have that need a battery. And uh, this is a pocket watch. And the, that's what it looks like. And. I'm not sure what the hell this is for. Um, but I hope to have a battery for this eventually. This is cool. And it fits in that little pocket in your pants. They still make, although nobody I know wears pocket watches anymore. And then I have another watch. Here. It also needs a battery. I have, I have another watch, but I don't know where it is. This needs a battery. This is my George S. Patton watch. And I feel kind of naked without a watch. I hate having to take the cell phone with me just to know what time it is when I take the bus. All right, that's it for now. i got to go cat feeding. There is one thing. This uh, iPod, I now learned how to turn it on and off and to set it for the time and the date, so it now keeps the date, and it tells you the battery life, so that's good. All right, I'm going to go off and cat feed in the frozen tundra that is Martinez. Have a great afternoon and evening. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be, and stay safe. And by the way, I will be so glad when I get the 2012 Mac Pro in March, even if I can't add the video card yet to it or more memory or bigger hard drives because this, this computer keeps freezing, it keeps locking up. The 2010 is dead for now. I can't get on the internet with the 2005 Mac Mini because it has no Bluetooth and no... Um, airport in it yet so and Comcast Xfinity only lets you use one computer at a time but when I get that 2012 once I put all the memory in it put the sapphire card in it put new hard drives in it it's gonna fly and it shouldn't have all this locking up and freezing and spinning wheel of death and I will be very very happy all right that's it for now I gotta get Get the hell out of here. And this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and I will catch you next time. But I'm making progress. Uh, there's a lot of paperwork here i got to put away. But at least it's been gone through. Oh, by the way, one other thing. Anybody know what I can do? I've got a whole bunch of these floating around. Uh, this is the memory that was in the 2008 Mac that I'm using in front of me, and I don't know what to do with these. This is uh, old steel U. This is two, two, two gig six. So if you know anywhere I can sell these or send them off or just, I hate to throw them in the garbage, but I don't know what the hell to do with them. It's just floating. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.